Welcome to part 9 of the Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basics series. This time, we're going to continue modeling parts for use in an assembly while focusing on sketch constraints. To begin, start with a 2D sketch like normal and select the XY plane. Now, sketch four circles, two larger circles both having a smaller circle inside of them. The dimension of these circles doesn't matter at the moment, just so they aren't drawn on the same line. Going up to the constraint menu of the ribbon, choose the concentric option. In order, left click on the top circle, followed by the inner top circle, and then the bottom two circles. You will see that the circles are now set about the same center point. Next, select the vertical command from the constraints menu, and then select the center points from the two circle groups. Notice all four circles are now in line with each other. The last constraint that we will apply is the equal constraint. Choose the two larger circles, and then the two smaller circles. Now, dimension the top circle to be 0.75 inch in diameter, and the smaller circle to have a 0.5 inch diameter. The corresponding circles below will change in size accordingly. Before finishing the sketch, draw a line from the two center points and define the length to be 2.25 inches. You could have accomplished the same thing by using the dimension tool and choosing the two center points. Draw lines connecting the left edges and the right edges of both circles, and with the trim command, clean up any excess lines. To finish the part, choose to extrude at a distance of a quarter inch. Join me again next time for part 10 of the Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basics series, where I'll take a look at importing geometry into an assembly, constraining parts, and more.